welcome to the J Games stream. Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can go back and check out the playlist and get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. As for today, we're finally going to do it. I know it's been a while. I said, you know what, there's going to be like three more episodes of Dragon Age. That was like five episodes ago. Today we're going to do it. We're going to beat the deep roads. We're going we're gonna to conquer this. And it's uh, only because... I did, in fact, um, go ahead and change this down to casual because I'm getting frigged up in there. I don't. I think if I leveled up high enough, because like I haven't had a problem with any of the fights so far. I think if I leveled up a little more and did all of the side quests and stuff, we'd be good to go. But I think where we're at now, it's just not possible. And like I said, I'm trying to finish this game up because we're gonna move on to the next one. So let's let's go ahead and let's let's freaking get it done. So we're going to finish this DLC, we're going to finish the Trespasser DLC, and that will be the end of series. And uh, what we have next will be Dragon Age Dreadwolf, whenever that finally comes out. Hopefully we get some info on that at some point soon. I believe this year is supposed to be, they're going to let you know, well, at first it was supposed to be this year is when it comes out. And then I'm hearing this year is when they're going to tell you the date that it comes out. So, like, I mean, I guess they could say, hey, it's coming out the end of this year, and it, you know, it still could be announced and released this year. I, I guess that's what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. But, uh, everything's on fire, and it's all bad. Let's freaking go. We have to beat, um, we have to beat Darkspawn waves. Wave after wave, we have to, we have to take them out. I think I started with some shield. Like when we got into the fight, I think I started out. Dude, casual is bonkers with how uh, how it changes the difficulty. If it just started me with half shield for no reason, the enemies definitely seem uh, a lot easier. I'm looting. <laughs> Why am I looting? <laughs> oh, I pressed A, didn't I? I am gonna go ahead and save my uh, whatever the heck that fade thing I can do is. I don't remember what it's called. Alright, we can do that. We can do that. I was using a controller that was basically like Nintendo Switch controls. And so like I think that's why I'm kind of messed up on what's where. It's like I don't know why it has to be so frigged up. Like the Nintendo Switch button layout is like the same as uh, Xbox, basically. But the A and the B are switched. So like, you know, on the Switch you have to press where B is on the Xbox. It's just so, it messes me up every time. I switched back to the Xbox controller because uh, the Switch controller is in the van. I got, I got plans coming for, somebody died already still? Dude, we're on easy peasy. How are you gonna die? On easy peasy. Get this guy over here. I don't have the chain to throw. Varric, my dude, come on. What in the butts? It's a lot of rings. I don't really need rings, do I? Is he gonna like take a potion or something? Dude, you should probably take a potion or something. We do have some refills around here. So we'll give him one. And uh, we'll try and see if we can find some of these refill spots. I'm pretty sure there's one over here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. I know there's like some secret potion refill joints. And uh, we're going to need that for sure. But for now, we have to take on some more buttholinis. Hello there, buttholini. Would you like some uh, spinning action? You sure would. Look at that. Look at the damage I'm doing on your face. Get up. I'm done. And I'm done. Come on. You're interrupting my... I'm trying to do this thing here. Knock you under the ground and you're being a butthole in here. I love how, like, sometimes the character just goes flying for, like, basically no reason. No reason at all. It's just like, oh, I guess I'm over here now. 
I'm, I'm kind of curious what the actual different because it seems like the enemies are the same. Maybe the less health. They're definitely. They seem to be going away a lot quicker. And it seems like we're. Well, Vera, he's being a freaking idiot, but. I say, it seems like we're taking a lot less damage. You know, some games will actually tell you, like, oh, your enemies have less health and you will take less. They'll actually tell you what, like, the difference is. This one doesn't tell you. I should probably. I played all of these on normal, and I think that was a mistake. I probably should have played them all on uh, casual, especially being that I'm streaming them, because there's a lot of times people get on and they're chatting, and I'm trying to read a chat, and then I'm like in the middle of a fight, I end up dying, things go badly. So I think like maybe uh, Dreadwolf, I'll play it on uh, casual for the stream, you know. Like when I play these on my own, obviously I'm playing them in normal, like I'm. I'm focused. But, uh. Yeah, as far as, like, doing it for a stream and playing on normal, it's a little bit. It's a little bit tough. Keep up with everything. Another one. Get over here. Oh, Varric just got over there to him. And, and then I. I love when that happens. My companion, like, gets over there and they're about to start hitting him. And then I'm like, nope. Mine now. My turn. We have used. Oh, we've used a lot of potions, actually. It's my partner. I haven't used a single potion. It's all my, my companions. They seem to be, like, being dumb or something. Why would they be dumb? Something I hope they kind of fix in the next one. I guess it's not really a fix. I think it's something, like, a lot of games should start doing. And it's just give you unlimited inventory space. Because, like... So, so take like Starfield for example. There's like several suits that you need for different environments. I'm I'm pretty sure. So like, how am I supposed to have several suits for different environments and only a limited amount of inventory space? Like this game, it's a little different. You get your party. Oh, he's he's uh been turned to our side. Oh no, he's not. He was just purple. Why was he purple? Like this game, you get your party set up with the best equipment, and they're good. You can get rid of everything else, but, like, I don't know. Some of these other games, man, that you need to, you need to fix that inventory problem. How about we just don't have limited inventories in a game where we have to carry multiple suits of different things? Know what I'm saying? It makes sense if you just don't think about it. We're gonna unlock an expedition. I think we're gonna get our next camp somewhere around here. We just I think we have to beat the horde and then we get the camp. Um there is Where's the po there's the potions. Okay, Varric, you're being a dingus. So you take one. I've taken no damage because I am no dingus. Supplies resupplied. I think I, I keep seeing something like light up it looks like. What is what is lighting up over there? Is it nothing? Am I seeing things? Well, that's the secret door. We have to somehow... We have to, like, go down... This way? There's the other potion supply thing is over there. I have to jump that crack, and it gets over to there. But, the, yeah, the bridge, that's where we need to get to. So I have to go from up here. And... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. At least I didn't take any damage. This is the this is the part that's been so butt stuff that's been killing us every time. Actually, we got past this last time, and we got to the next guy, and then we got butt stuff there at that point. Okay, I'm gonna throw one of these maneuvers out because uh, these guys are tough, and we might as well just frig them up right here, right now, right? See, like, why? I'm trying to target his back, and my dude slides to the front every time. So these guys are still looking pretty tough, actually. That did not do a lot of damage. But we could... We could start doing one of these. Wait, do I have another already? It, it was looking... Oh, I do, dude. I'm throwing another one out. Let's get these guys frigged up here. Yeah, I got another one. Already. We want these guys gone. Oh, 
Shabam. Right through the shield. There it is. One more? This guy looks frozen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and target him while he's frozen. Oh, I shouldn't have alerted him. I, I was trying to get my shield up. I alerted him, and that was a bad mistake. There's dudes that are like throwing darts or something, and it really cheeses me off because there's a lot of damage to my health. Yeah, see, th these guys, even on easy, they're getting freaked up here. Who should I just got knocked off. Of course. <laughs> of course you would do that. God dang it. That was the most dingus -y crap I've ever seen. Where the frig am I now? Oh wait, this guy's out. Okay, this is this is bad and good. We have one one of these guys to take care of now, and then we have another one later. But it's a bigger, badder one, I think. Pretty sure. Did that one just fall off? Oh, he's falling off the edge. Dude, that's great. That was great for me. That saved me a lot of trouble. Now we can glitch him out with the spin maneuver. Is that it? Where are they going? Guys, where are you going? Who's over there? Why are they over there? We're doing the fight on the bridge now. Why would they go over there? That doesn't make any sense. Guys, get back over here. I guess we could... I'm wondering, should we, like, potion up? Who just got mad? Who just got mad? Oh, he hits this guy. I'm not seeing my little updater to show me out, like, where, what our progress is. Ooh, that gave me some good shield. I keep jumping. I, I'm trying to hit, like, that maneuver where I taunt them, but I keep jumping because I'm, like I said, I was doing that switch controller before. I think there's a potion cache in there, but maybe we should, like, get our health. Oh, wait, this guy's still alive? I guess he would be because we didn't kill him before, right? We, uh... I got knocked off the edge. This is your end right now. You will die to the spin maneuver. Nobody escapes my spinning blade of doom. Oh yeah, now you're caught in the spinning blade of doom too. Get taunted, dumb idiot. Alright, so now... I think if we got a little bit of a break between waves, let's go ahead and do this. Right? And then let's go re-up the cache over here. We do have the secret little sneaky spot. If we got a little break. I think we have to kill a couple ogres next. That's usually pretty tough. Can I make it from here or do I? I think I have to go around this way. I kind of got a little bit of a ways to go around to, to get there, but I think it, it's uh, it's worth it to get my potions back up. Especially for what's coming, dude. It's it's about to get gnarly. Wait. Oh, that's just another door. I was like, why is it sh showing me darkspawn waves now? Oh, just about made it. Frig yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight ogres, and then we have like another of the magic-y ones. Oh, so my party gets a little confused sometimes. If I just if I just go over to here, are they gonna get confused? They probably are. They're kind of. How did they get here, dude? Usually, I'm like waiting for. That's been like half of the problem with my struggles with this part of the map, like this part of the fight and stuff. Is like my party is not even around. I'm in the fight, and like they're nowhere to be found. Okay, so yeah, good. We have another supply cache, so that's pretty good. God dang it, and that too. Why does the ogre target me? Why? <laughs> why do you have to pick me up? Friggin' go for Cassandra or Blackwall or something. Like, why me? Cassandra, could you like do something, please? Dude, it's ridiculous. This guy is pretty bad. Just look at his face, you can tell he's bad. That's a freak, dude. He is gnarly looking. God dang it, they just... They wanna... 
me as a punching bag so bad. Every time. I feel like this is... I feel like we're just on repeat. I feel like I've done this before. Several times. Dude, I'm just a little guy. Why did... It, why don't you pick on somebody your own size, my dude? I'm just a little fella. With my little beard. Well, I, I survived that. Somehow. Surprisingly. I'm gonna hit him with some of this. Try and get that, that guard up so that way they can't just punch me out. God dang it, you idiot! <laughs> Every time. They need to fix that for the next game, because that is ridiculous. I'm on casual right now. I dropped the difficulty so that way I could like get through this. And this happens still. Constant from one to the next. This dude chossed me to the next guy. I couldn't even get up before. I'm already in the air getting freaking smacked again. Dude, that's that really cheeses me off. Single dwarf, get back in there. I believe in you. Your ability to be a, a target for the ogres. I believe in it. What if I just spin maneuver? If I keep them... I think I just... Did I just launch them into space? I just launched them into space. Did you see that ogre come out of the freaking sky? Bro got launched. Where'd the other one go? I think the other one might have died from fall damage because I freaking launched... Oh, he just picked me up and threw me that time. That's better, at least, dude. If he picks me up and, like, just throws me at the ground, I'd, I'd prefer that. This guy can go, though. Time for you to go. Yep. Get one of those. God dang you. No! <laughs> Look at the whole party's there, and who does he go for? Okay, how many of those magic bros are, he, are gonna come out here? Because... Let's get the glitch. Let's launch this ogre into space. Did I launch him? I launched him, dude. Why do I launch him? I don't know why that happens, but I like it. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay, this is a tough boy, so we're gonna throw one of these on him. Get him gone. I thought he was a tough guy. He doesn't actually look that tough. We're kind of frigging him up right now. It didn't take much. We defeated one out of... Where's the other ogre, then? Is he still, like, in space? Dude, he was. Where did he come from? <laughs> it's so broken. I love it. Why are you up there? Can I, like... Okay, we taunt him to come at me? Dude, I think we might be freaked. It might be up to Varric to just, like, shoot arrows at him. I'm gonna have Varric target him. And just keep... Oh, Varric can go up there. Yeah, he's broken. So we're just gonna have Varric up here. Friggin' him up. There's no there's no getting around this. He's broken. He got launched into space and now he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do with his life. <laughs> I swear to god, I never had any of these things happen to me when I played this on Xbox. Like all this goofy crap that's happening right now. I never once saw any- oh, we broke him out. Of course, then he has to target me. God dang it, he has to target me every time. I'm freaking sending you back to space. I launched him. I launched him. Get to the emissary leader. Cut it down and they're done. Okay, okay, we'll do that. I had the wrong one. I thought that the other guy, this guy was the emissary leader, but he's not. This guy's the emissary leader. I like how there's three chains on him at once. And he still did not budge. Oh yeah, he's freaked up, dude. But if we can get this guy out of here, we're gonna be chilling. I love how Dragon Age has like, you know, in uh, Skyrim, you have the uh, the giant space program, where like the giants launch you into space. In this one, we have the dwarf space program, where I'm just like a little guy, and I can freaking somehow launch a, an entire ogre into space. You love to see it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like I said too, it's so weird because I've I played this on Xbox and I never once had any uh, anything like that happen. I did it with a troll before too. 
In one of the other fights that was pretty tough. There was big... No, no, it's not a troll. Are they just called giants? They're big tusks. I think they're giants. But, um, yeah, I launched one of those into space. I should try and launch this guy into space. He's a tough enemy, so I might want to... It has something to do with, like, when I do the spin maneuver, it, like, draws them to me. And if they're, like, in the middle of doing some kind of maneuver while I draw them to me with my spin thing, it's like somehow that launches them. And it's kind of insane. I could, I could duplicate it with the ogres there for a bit, but, like, it's not working with this emissary. Oh, this is bad time. This is bad time. Cassandra, you idiot. She's a freaking idiot, dude. I was trying to jump, and she was in the way. Okay, no. Stop. I am frozen. I think I have, like, frost resistance on this armor, so that's actually kind of, kind of a good thing. Dang it. I'm trying to get some shield up here. Oh, here we go. Now we're damaging him. Now we're doing the damage. Now it's time. Fudge. Fudge. No, I'm looting what I mean to be... God dang it, I meant to be jumping. I was trying to jump out of the way and I just was looting a body instead. Now it's time. Now we're actually cutting down on the health. That's weird. I'm getting like a bar of, of uh, guard. And I'm not, like, hitting anything that should be giving me guard. I wonder if I picked up some kind of perk that does that. I don't know. Oh, I hate when I get those shields up. The shields are the worst. Like, they take so long to break down. Like, the dude's health was going down easy peasy. But when he gets that, like, blue shield on his health bar, like... It just, it's so slow. It's like you're doing, you do no damage to it. Get out of that fiery blast, you idiots. All my, my whole party just stays in it. They're just like, what's happening? What's going on, guys? Shouldn't we just stand in the fiery blast? Sounds like a good idea to me. Bring off. Right, I can't pull this guy with a chain, but I can. Get him stuck in the spin. See, that's probably the best. That looks like that's the best way to freaking take down his shield. He kind of got a little bit launched. I don't know if that was him doing it or what, but he kind of went into the sky a little bit. Oh, he's going to do this. Of course, he's going to break my concentration on my spin maneuver. And he's going to frig it all up. Of course he would do that. Oh, we're doing damage on the health. I need to get in there. Let's hit him with one of those. Oh, he freaking disappears. Oh, here we go, here we go. We're doing damage on the health. Now we hit him with this. That's going to be big damage. And if I can... Oh, I can't spin maneuver yet. I can hit him with one of those. There we go. Yeah, we got this. Dude. Big damage right there. The fade rift and smacking him with uh, the spin maneuver big damage on him. But he's probably got one more shield left in him. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to throw a shield up real soon here. Oh, he's in there getting close to... Yep, getting close to death. Time to throw the shield up. It's like every enemy. Big, like, boss enemy. They have three shield, uh shields that you have to break through. I think even Corypheus. Didn't Corypheus have that? You're getting a little bit stuck in the corner. I can hit him with some of this. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, I'm gonna freaking glitch through the rock. I have no idea what's happening right now. I just keep spinning. Nothing bad can happen to me if I just hold my sword and spin. Literally, how can you avoid... Like, how can you compete with that. If you got a dwarf with a long sword just constantly spinning. I cut through his whole shield with that. A dwarf with a long sword just spinning in circles. There's no there's no getting away from that. We freaking did it. 
We reclaimed the tag. Uh, but of course, ooh, another staff. Might be good for Dorian here. Of course, there's another one come out of nowhere. Is he running away? He's killing him as he's running away. So it says follow Volta. Um, Volta, are you gonna like actually lead me anywhere? There was an explosion. That's always good. I guess follow me. Don't follow Volta, follow me. Yeah, it's a camp. Stamp, uh, establish camp at the ancient lift. So yeah, we just keep like taking lifts farther and farther down into the deep roads here. Huh. That's the last of those dark spawn. Legion's in your debt, Inquisitor. Noise. Look at this, Ren. It's ancient. Maybe a thousand years old. Any idea who built it or why? It was this me. Tig is on top of a lyrium mine. I did it. According to the memories, the mine was destroyed by some unexplained disaster. The miners must have used this lift to reach the lower levels. So we're going down but there. We're not using it, right? If there oh is no, a we are very. We're going down there. It's down there. I found this book with the emissary. The pages are mostly ruined, but a few are readable. See this line? I awoke to the singing stone. Our kingdom trembled at the Titan's hymn. Huh. What is this Titan? What even is a Titan? Titans are involved? It would seem you're not the first to connect earthquakes to Titans. Uh, not to keep beating a dead Bronto, but there's no actual evidence that what happened then and now are the same. Singing tremors, destroying a mine, and threatening a tig? You don't see any similarity? I don't know think what you're reading what you want to read. Perhaps this will change your mind. Look here. It's the royal seal of Orsic Garal. King Orsic Garal? That book belonged to a paragon? Maybe you are onto something, Volta. Of course you'd take a dead man's word over mine. Always the traditionalist. Hey, challenging tradition lost you a cushy position in Orzammar. Um. Yo, I didn't realize that Titans were even a thing here, to be honest with you. Um, Volta lost her Shaper job? What does he mean you lost your position? She got fired? I thought you were a Shaper. Not all Shapers have the same duties. Mine were adjusted. Yeah, because you can't get fired. You, like, they go by class or cast in uh, the Dwarven I in this game. In we decided games. it would be best if I served the Shaper it here, finding history instead of recording it. Oh, well, you did the right thing. It takes courage to challenge authority. <laughs> I suppose you would know. I did a lot Some of that. Some believe the past is what we make it. But we gain nothing from ignoring mistakes. Wise words. I'm sorry I brought it up. The earthquakes are what matters. I don't know where this lift leads, but... We're about I guess to find we gotta go for way. it. <laughs> Get ready. That dude's kind of got green eyes like me. His aren't quite as bright as, like, the Bingle Dwarfs. Because he's kind of got them, like, fade-colored eyes. Green fade color. Oh, we could do one regen. Is it even worth it? Probably not. We have 12 more other potions. Has the Inquisitor earned your respect now, Yakar? Who's here? Who the heck is Yakar? Yakar? And what is he doing here? Who is this guy? Why is there a giant here? You're not a dwarf. Alright, I guess onwards and downwards. But this stuff about titans... I've never heard none of this before. I guess, I, you know, I probably should read more codexes. So the codexes is where you pick up a lot of the lore and stuff. So, like, this is... I don't know if titans were ever mentioned at any point before, but... This is all new to me. I've not played this DLC either, so.
go into the depths. Are we gonna have another wave of fighting to go through? If uh, discovered forgotten caves, if we're gonna have another wave of fighting, now's probably the good time to do this before this happens. Merch. You guys can check it out. Link is down in description. Link is on channel page, on Twitch, and on YouTube. Should be on both. We got shirts. We got hats. We got all that good stuff. I love the look of it. It's very nice. Very comfy. Check it out if you're interested. Back to the dragons aging. <clears throat> we need some light up in here. Can we get a torch? What was that? What was what? What is that? Something moved. There. Light a torch. So I can see us coming. Just stay close. Where do we... What is that? There's like blue eyes. What the frig is that? Dude, can we get a torch, please? I don't like not knowing what that is. Like, just chilling there. Blue eyes. It's crawling. My sword's kind of, like, lighting it up a little bit. I got a glowing sword, so that kind of helps a little Nothing's bit, Nothing's right? stopping us from going back up. We're not going back up. <sighs> Just a suggestion. What is that, man? We've gone past the deep roads. How can you tell? It's pitch black. Dude, they just disappear. What are we doing here? Why can we not have a torch? They disappear when you get close. This is spooky. Spooky dooky. Oh no. Oh, what is that? Dude, what just happened to my dude here? Ren. What the frig just happened? Is he dying? Is he gonna die? What are they shooting? Are they shooting lyrium at us? Not at all. He's charging, isn't he? Ah! Uh, so his whole purpose was to uh, die in the deep roads, I guess. So we're beyond the deep roads. Who are these guys? What is this? I can't even pull them towards me. Are these dwarves? They're short like dwarves. They must be dwarves. I think that purple thing Blackwell does. I think it makes them scared. I think it makes people run away. Dude, it's just, it's so cheese. Such a cheese maneuver, but it's like so good. Look at how much damage it does. And it gets them like kind of locked, man. It's just, I know I talk about it all the time, but I love that maneuver. Yeah, we should probably like focus on taking out that archer. What do they what do they drop? That one dropped something, but it didn't show me what it was that I like, picked up off of. Am I picking up experience? What am I picking up? Oh that was unnecessary. I already had full shield. Yeah, dude, he's, uh, he was blown through by some lyrium or something. He's done. That's unfortunate. He was kind of a cool dude. The Legion of the Dead are pretty dope. You what deserved is... better. There's like lyrium. Ren never wanted Burn this coming life. off of him. He was a cobbler. A good one. 
He joined the Legion to pay his father's debts. It kept his mother and brother from losing their caste. The poor and desperate here often sacrifice themselves for their family's future. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, Ren that's was a big good man. Bummer. I'm pretty bummed about it too. We'll honor his I sacrifice. like that dude. He was pretty he chill. Always seemed indestructible. Yeah, because he was already dead. He was Legion of the Dead. There's lyrium woven directly into the metal, and it's bonded to their skin. How is this possible? Impossible to remove, but I know what we find underneath. These are dwarves. Ren was killed Ooh. by our own kind. Their uh, weapons are powerful. Why do they attack? They're not from Orzammar. They don't look like any dwarves I've ever met. Me neither. It just doesn't make sense. We've done nothing to them. Hmm. Yeah, this is very strange. I don't even I know who these... I won't like this. We must return him to the stone. Yeah, that's Trust a good idea. Tonsha, Saroka. Big bummer. I'll see this through, Ren. I promise. I really hope we get more dwarven stuff in the next game. Dwarves are like the coolest in Anything all. Anything uh, standing between us game. and the Titan will regret it. Oh, it's money. I was picking money up off these. Why do these guys have money? Why do they have so much money? One hundred ninety-two gold on each of these guys. Like, why? What are they doing with money down here? Two hundred thirty. Why? Why do you have that much money? You live in a cave. What what are you what, what are you spending your money on? Look at these like lyrium roots. This is crazy. Here we go. We'll have revenge on our buddy who was dead already, but now he's dead for real, and that's a big bummer. So yeah, she's like we're gonna return him to the stone. So, like, the Legion of the Dead, they have a funeral when they leave um, Orzammar, right, to come down here. Do they get a second one when they actually die? Or do you just be like, alright, well, oh, they're dead already. I just don't know. But what I do know is this is creepy as freak down here. I am still very... Let me check. Let's see what these guys have on me. 220 gold. There's, There's got to be a reason that these dwarves that are down here are carrying so much gold. Like, what? They live in a cave. They're wearing lyrium armor that they can't remove. Why do they need this much money? Why are they rich down here? Somebody give me, like, a, a lore reason why that would be. The heck is this? Straight up dinosaurs? There's just dinosaurs down here. Who would have ever thought? I mean, I guess it's not too far out there, because there's kind of just, like, basically dinosaurs all over the place in uh, the uh, upper world, too. I'm basically just using my spin maneuver to see how many enemies can get launched in the uh, Dwarven Space Program. Oh, that one worked. The other, other ones, it wasn't working. I wasn't able to pull them towards me. Maybe it's because these ones are archers. They're like lighter, armored. Still rich, though. They're just carrying loads of money. They've basically got, like, machine guns. They're, they're like, crossbow machine guns. You hear the, them shots they're doing? They're like, pew, 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 pew. So, you guys think we should just go in that thing that just opened up? That cave that just opened up? Randomly? With the glowing blue rock? Probably a good idea. I think I would, I would recommend that. 
Yeah, there's definitely like all kinds of glowing. Is that an arrow? This is like the wall of memories in Orzammar, but ancient, very ancient. Looks like an arrow to me, pointing us th that Dwarven, way. But I barely recognize this dialect. Is it related to our language? I understand parts of it, so it must be. This word keeps appearing. Shah Pratal. My ancient dwarven is rusty. Something about guardians? I, I don't know if my character even really speaks dwarven, defenders. to be honest with you. Defenders what of what? What needs to be protected all the way down here? e satanal e satanal cut our tongues entomb our bodies watch over the titan until it stirs so the warriors who attacked us must be the shabertal and they're protecting a titan all this talk about titans man i didn't even know right, that was Walter? a thing i can hear ren's objections yeah poor ren dude got frigged up Burnt through the Let's chest with moving. some lyrium. If more it's kind of crap. Memories exist, they may have the answers we need. He's supposed to die fighting Darkspawn, not with some lyrium through the chest. Let's continue on through the spooky, glowing blue clay cave. Wait. Wait a second. That guy can't reach me? Yeah, wait, wait a second. He's... They can't reach me. Like we're look at Blackwall's over there, but he wasn't. Everything was just kind of frozen. <laughs> Blackwall wasn't fighting. They weren't fighting. Like everybody was just kind of chilling for a minute. I thought maybe we were gonna make peace. Nope. They can't have peace. They want to do the dwarven space program. Get launched. Nope. I didn't get it. You know, it's the Dwarven Space Program works the best on launching large creatures, which is, you know, kind of odd, but the physics doesn't all, like, really add up with that, but, you know, it's, it makes sense if you just don't think about it, I guess. I made a mistake coming over here, because I separated myself from my party, and now I'm getting a little bit frigged up. Can I get back up? I'm going to go back to my party now, guys. We're going to... We're gonna just like party up over here. <laughs> Look at how stupid I was trying to go through that obviously that spot where you can't go through. Ooh. Getting a bunch of these gears though. Can they not jump? Why can my party not jump? Like if I can jump, they can jump, right? I gotta do it myself, I suppose. My party's being dinguses. Bunch of freaking dinguses. Oh no. Oh no. Why are these guys so tough? I'm gonna use one of these on them. Because I'm getting a little bit in danger here. I'm getting a little bit endangered here. Not the biggest fan of this, this danger. Holy frig, these guys are tough. And they're carrying a lot of money on them. 239 gold on that dude. Why would you have that much gold? Okay, guys, just jump. It's a, it's not that far. Jump up the rock. Oh, I can pull them down here. That's good. Now we can all frig them up. Like, why will we not jump down here, and why will my guys not jump up there? How are we supposed to move forward if nobody will jump? It's like a couple feet. Just go for it. Never understand the video game logic. I guess this guy finally decided to join us down here. He's the last one. It's worn with lyrium armor. What, is this, what does any of this mean? I'm very confused as to what's going on down here. Were they eating lyrium? One down. 
It seems to me like they were just saving their money up and eating lyrium down here. For whatever reason. They just need two things. Money and lyrium. And I guess they get them both down here. Yeah, see, like, I can move on. What is my party going to do? They're not... They're idiots. They won't jump. So now, like, I'm going to move on without them? Are they going to catch up, hopefully? There's torches. Okay, they, they caught up. That's good. I was a little worried there for a second. I don't want to go... I don't want to go about it my, myself. Can I pick that up? I wish I could pick that up. Some of them I can. These ones I can't. There's something strange on the other side. I can Bridge. feel it. My guess is another earthquake that hits when we're halfway across the bridge. Oh, that sounds your really step. bad. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, yeah. That figures. That it figures. Quick. Someone sabotaged the bridge. That was And rigged. we don't have time to fix it. There. That ledge. We can reach it if we're careful. What ledge? But down here? Are you talking about down here? Why, why does, how does coming down here help us? Oh, I guess we go this way? Oh. I'll take it. I don't know, man. I, I'd have to go back, I think, to use them. I don't know if I'm planning on going back at this point. It's kind of a long ways back, isn't it? Uh, more, more reading. There's a lot of reading. More gears? Maybe there'll be a door, like, up ahead or something that I can use those on. Find an alternate right, uh, route around the chasm. We're going. We're trying. Look there. More ancient carvings. Aye. But these seem to be about... a titan. It shapes the stone. It... Is the stone. It is the stone. It sculpts the world I within am the stone. and without. The quakes changed the stone? Wait if a titans second. Could what? purposely reshape the world, the earthquakes could be the way they sculpt the stone. But the quakes are destructive. Titans would mold the world, not smash it to pieces. Depending on Whoa. your perspective, change can be violent. But if this is true, how could it be missing from the memories of Orzammar? Why would someone erase such an integral part of our history? He says change can be violent. Let's and that after we stop the earthquakes. But the whole point the of this game... Than ever. We're close. The whole point of this game was trying to stop Corypheus from his violent change. So violent change is okay when it's Titans. But when it's Corypheus, then it's bad. Dude, this is frigged up. This is lyrium, isn't it? It's all lyrium. <laughs> I just became the most popular dwarf in the Merchant's Guild. <laughs> yeah, you'd be all rich. These lyrium veins, and they're so completely rich. untapped. Derelict like lyrium mine. The lyrium deposits left to grow in this long abandoned mine would uh, fetch serious coin. Um, if only reaching the place and transporting the lyrium to the surface wasn't a venture of a short suicide. Yo. must mine lyrium somewhere. Their weapons and armor are laced with it. Let's Unless build a shaft a from here. Oh, look at the ceiling, dude. It's like stars. Let's build a shaft from here all the way up to the surface so we can get the lyrium up there. We're going to have a very profitable business here. Uh, yeah, let's potion up, guys. Also, you dinguses have freaking level ups. You didn't even tell me. Um, that'd be kind of a neat feature if, like, your uh, your party members were like, "Hey, I got a level up," or like, you know, some other way, of, probably some more clever way of like saying it. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. Other than you just like noticing a little arrow on their head. I see no evidence of darkspawn here. 
Maybe they know better than to come down this far. If I was a dark one, I probably wouldn't but come here. But there must be a reason they avoid this place. This is crazy. It's like veins. It, it, look, it looks like, like your blue veins in your body, or like roots or something. It's so weird. Well, there's more of these butthole leanies. Uh, we should, like, we should be able to gather lyrium from this while we're here. You know, like, we can gather resources and stuff. There should be, like, maybe there is. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm jumping the gun here. There's silverite right there. But yeah, like, you're, this is pretty much end game. You should be able to get, like, the best gear you can possibly get from down here, you know? Like, you should be able to gather some of this, uh, lyrium rock and, like, make something crazy out of it. That'd be kind of dope. Why can I not launch these small fellas to space? I should be able to launch you into space. If I can launch a freaking ogre into space, you should be going to space right now. You and all your freaking money. Let's get that silver egg. Get Dunzoed. Dinguses. I think I see... Why, how did the blood... Okay, so... Obviously, somebody was dropping these bloodstained gears all over the place. How did one get all the way down here? Were these lyrium fellers, were they carrying the bloodstained gears around and, like, dropping them places? Why would they be doing that? And there's got to be something up here. It's like, look at the deep mushroom. It looks a little bit lyrium-ish. If you look at that compared to, like... There's just, just a way back up. Am I just going back up? Yeah. There's just multiple ways down, it looks like. These look like plants. Like, this looks like a tree. It's making me question everything I know about lyrium, which is not a lot, but... Now I feel like I know even less. I have more questions than I have answers. Am I going to be able to break through that? These guys are freaking tough, dude. Uh, they're not as tough. Well, I guess I do have the difficulty turned down because I was struggling pretty bad multiple times on that last uh, Darkspawn wave area. But, like, these guys... These guys are pretty tough, but they don't seem as tough as, like, the Darkspawn were. Do we not have... We don't have a mage with us. I was collecting these staffs for, like, you know, Dorian. He's my only mage now, isn't he? They built this to stop us. There oh. must be some way to get through. It looks kind of cracked. It looks like we should be able to break that down. Yeah, Dorian's my only mage now. Soul has bailed on me. I'm kind of, kind of questioning Soulless at this point in the game, especially considering the trailers for Dragon Age Dreadful. <laughs> now that they got more dinosaur pets. That must be. That must be nice. Who would it be to have like a little dinosaur as a pet? Oh, I can see I almost launched him into space. We got a little bit of a pop-up. Can we can we get him higher? No, it didn't work. Aren't deep stalkers. What do they eat to survive? What are they? Lyrium. If we're not careful. They probably eat lyrium. It's all they eat down here. It's all they everything is lyrium down here. Oh. 
Yeah, it's strange how like the bigger the creature, the um, easier it is to. These guys got freaking machine guns. Get over here with your machine gun. Yeah, the bigger the creature, the easier it is for me to launch them into space. Wait, I, you need to get back here. So I can hit you with my uh, glowy sword. Now give me your money. Lots of money. Get over here. I like how they'll try and like... I can't hit him anymore. That must have been uncomfortable. He just got frozen. They like to pathfind to back to the, where they were. They're trying to like get away a little ways, but you're just hitting them in the back the entire time while they're like turned to you, run, you know, trying to run away, basically. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Look at Varric. What is he doing? What is he doing? Right now? This party is so stupid. <laughs> 90% of the time they're just standing there hidden behind a rock for no reason. Bunch of cowards. Maybe they, all these bugs were in it when I like played it on Xbox and I just didn't notice. Or maybe like this is... It definitely feels different. I don't know why I needed to walk around that like tight edge there. There should be a secret over here, but there's not. Is there a secret over here? If I was uh, one of those bloodstained gears, I'd probably be hanging out over here. But I guess, I guess nobody else thinks so. Black wall, you idiot! Get out of the way! So this seems counterproductive, like. That's where we need to get to, and we're, like, all the way on the other side. So, unless there's some kind of sneaky way across or something. What the heck is happening here? They were just headbutting. There's, like, still... So, like, why, why do these dwarves come this deep down? And like what are they are they still intelligent they sound kind of like creatures sometimes like they kind of seem like they're growling a lot of times are they still intelligent or are they basically just like animals like are they like the dark spawn or like these freaking dinosaurs or are they still sort of dwarfish like are they still are they still intelligent dang it you ruined my dinosaur space program I was gonna freaking helicopter these guys into the atmosphere. Through the ceiling of the cave, all the way up into the sky. Now I, now you've ruined it. You've ruined it all. There's another one. He's got a machine gun. So it makes me wonder. Uh, why can't I hit him on the ground? Why is he not getting up? <laughs> is, is something something's wrong here? Uh, it just makes me wonder. Are we going to have guns in the next one? Because he's literally, like, that's... He's pretty much got a gun. The rate they fire is, is like very fast. It's gun-like. There's definitely an operation we can do here also. I'm gonna loot this. Don't know where the party's gotten off to. I don't think I want any of that. Can I, uh, set my flag here, or we, we got fighting to do? Where did you guys go? You know, most of the time, I'm the one who's in the fight, and they're kind of, like, just friggin' off somewhere else. This time, they're... Now they're freaking off somewhere else. What are they doing? Dude. You've picked a very bad location to be 
What are you freaking doing? Who are you trying to fight? It's somebody in the wall? Are the wall people trying to attack you? Like, what are you... And where's Varric? What'd you guys do with Varric? God dang it, dude. It's the worst party I've ever had. What is wrong with my companions, dude? What? Cassandra just shot a freaking chain through... How did she... She fell down there? And she didn't lose no health? And she shot a chain through that rock. Okay. Oh. Oh, my space program worked. That's bad, though, because now we're stuck in battle mode. Varric, he was just like... He's broken. Dude, he won't move. Okay, now he moves. This is the strangest crap I've ever seen. Yo, Awakey in the chat. What's up, buddy? Dropping the tank. The tank emoji. Dude, we are out here doing some seriously crazy battle. And my party is, like, brain dead. Look at my party right now. I come up here to see what's going on, and they're all like this. And you know why? It's because this guy's up here. And so, uh, now I'm gonna have to, like, take him out with arrows, I think. Literally, I, I swear, like, I played this on Xbox, and I never had seen any of these problems. Now that I'm... Oh, fudge. <laughs> Varric, you idiot. <laughs> now that I'm playing it on PC, dude, it's like the most broken, glitchy, crazy crap I've ever seen. Wakey says LOL. It's hilarious, but it's also, like... It's sort of annoying, because, like, half the time, my party is, like, not even fighting. I'm in the middle of a major fight that's, like, really bad, and they're just, like, gone doing some stupid stuff like this. And then other times... The laughing cat. Yeah, dude. What does that one do again? Oh, that's a good one. I need to do that more. I need to do this one more, I think. So I'm gonna have to sit here and shoot this dude with arrows. Like he says, yeah, seems annoying. Well, and the funniest part of all of this is, you know how he got up there? I was trying... <laughs> I was doing it with the ogres, but uh, I also did it with this dinosaur. And there's... I keep calling it the uh, ogre space program or dinosaur space program. You know that spin maneuver I do with my sword? Like, So I've got a long sword. And I do this maneuver where I spin. When I do that... A lot of times, it'll, like, glitch the uh, creatures, like, ogre. It's got to be the big ones, like, giants, ogres, big dinosaurs. Like, it will literally launch them into space. So I was down here doing my spin maneuver, and I'm pretty sure I launched that dude all the way up there. And then we, like, finished up most of the fight, and then my party was, like, trying to, like, path their way to him. And they ran up there and got stuck on the freaking edge of the cliff. They were, like, pushing each other off, like, falling off that freaking cliff right there. The most ridiculous crap. It's almost like, you know, Bethesda-level buggy. But it's only on PC. I swear it's only on PC. I played this on Xbox, and I never saw any of this stuff that's happening right now. Another book. So what's up with you today, uh, Awakey? How are you doing today? Um, okay, so we're, yeah, we're, this is very counterproductive. We need to get over to there. And we're over here. <laughs> oh, bloodstained gear. Uh, we need, oh, okay, so it's showing me how many I need to get into those different areas. That's a lot. If you're going to do all of those doors, I don't think it's possible. I mean, it can't be. I've. I mean, I haven't really been hunting the gears either, so, like, if I was actually hunting down gears, I might find a bit more, but... I don't know. Hey, there's another. Yeah, we're going the complete opposite direction of where I need to be going. Reverend... Oh, dude, that's kind of bonkers. That was kind of a bonkers sword. Can anybody use that? Let's see, somebody's, uh, you've got to be able to use that, right? 230, what are you wearing right now? She's doing 168. Oh, yeah, dude, 230 
you're doing that for sure. Blackwall, he's got um, balance shield. Is that better? Yeah, he can have that balance shield, and he can have a better weapon too. We're gonna hook him up. Yeah, the, even that Templar mace is better. Oh, that's a bonkers shield right there. And that's a pretty bonkers axe right there. Okay, so now my party's going to be doing decent damage if they can actually ever find the enemies and, like, actually try and fight them with me. I see some kind of glow going on over there. Is that anything important? I just fell. Only those my cross. So oh. I guess that worked out. I was just kind of confused, and I fell, and I, t I turned a bridge, to, uh, you know, out over here. I guess that uh, that works. Glad that worked. Uh huh. Alternative would have been messy. That was all just because I fell. Hey, look, it's nugs. I guess I know what these guys eat. Chilling down here. I have a feeling there's gonna be enemies. Offerings. Yo, is this what they need all that gold for? There's so much gold. These guys all have so much gold. What I just put there? Was that a wheel of cheese? Is that a wheel of cheese? The nugs. There's a lot of nugs. Oh no, what is that? Well, shit. <laughs> what? Is he wearing a crown? Are, I was not are expecting you putting this. putting me on trial? Am I being judged oh, well, by uh, a nug? Thank you. It is their, uh, your home, after all. What? I brought you I'm an offering of cheese. Judged. I do feel judged. But, I mean, that's what I've been doing. The Nug King. A hot debate among Nug admirers is whether the king in Paragon... Ebrian's song was royalty of some kind or merely an especially magnificent spe uh, specimen of the breed. Every year, scholars, bards, and rodent enthusiasts bring offerings of cheese to the deep roads, hoping for a glimpse of the Nug King, who remains elusive. That was... weird. I, uh... I don't know what to, um... I don't know what to make of that. That was a tremendously odd. All that just because I fell off the edge of a cliff and made a bridge up here. Now how do I get to where I actually need to go? I've been judged by a Nug King. Now I need to get to where I'm going. Okay, so it wanted me to go back to here, but now it wants me to go to there where, like, I can't actually go through. Right? Like, down there, that's where that path is blocked. I can't go through there. How do I get across this chasm here to the other side beyond that wall that I can't get past? I am very confused. I am confusion. I guess we backtrack. I feel like there, there should be a way that I can break down that wall. It doesn't look very strong. It's all cracked and broken. The only 
thing is like there's lyrium in it. Is that really gonna prevent me from breaking it down? Do we need to maybe run this operation? Maybe that is what we need to do. Maybe we need to go run the operation to open this area up. At least there's no more. I took all the enemies out, so we can just kind of run around here at our own leisure. See, there's something down there. Oh, I'm about to walk off the edge. This is, uh... This is where we're trying to go, but we can't go through. There must be another way around. Can I jump over this? I don't think I can parkour my way up. No, it doesn't seem like parkour is as an option. What if I just... Not that. What if I just, uh... Yeah, I can't break it. There's gotta be a way around. I mean, there's like that bridge over there. How do I get over to there? I wonder if it's another one of those magical uh, bridges that appear out of nowhere. Makes me wonder. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, the only direction I can go here is where I just came from, but there was, there was nothing that way. It was a dead end. Spindleweed. That's good stuff. That's the good stuff. This way I've already come because I thought there might have been a secret over here, but there's nothing over here. But dead end. We can go back up here. Maybe we need to go back to the war t table that is at our first camp and run the operation. Maybe that is, well, see now it shows that I'm getting close to the, uh, to the quest marker, but then it gets farther away when I come out here. So what the frig? It's got to be like the Nug King way, right? Something back that way? What am I missing here? See, now I'm getting closer to it. Now it's a bigger, closer quest mark. This is the Nug King way. Is there like, maybe there's a path through here that I missed. Maybe there's like another way to go. Well, that's closed off. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, this is like a dead end. Where am I? I'm behind the throne. I like how he's got like, is that like a giant head as his uh, throne? How did he get a giant skull? Dude, the Nug King is very mysterious. Alright, so yeah, it's basically just directing me back to there. What if we go uh, change floor?
I should have been pure. What is this? There's a, a camp here. What is this place? Bastion of the Pure. That's on the level I'm on. What is... Hmm. I'm confused. I'm going to travel to this. Okay, that's this point. Maybe from up here I can see something? I don't know, man. This got me confused. Where's that? Also, where's that camp? The camp must be beyond the barrier. Oh, search the area for a way to destroy the barrier. Huh. Is it delirium infused staff? Oh. Oh. I think I finally figured it out. Let's get her leveled up. We have to go back to camp, don't we? And we have to trade parties out. My inventory's full. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff here. Uh, like that. We can destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, why did I equip that? That's what I want. Yeah, plain Warhammer, destroy that. Templar Mace, destroy that. There we go. Um, so let's pick this staff up. I'm pretty sure. Place the Earth Shaker at the... Oh, okay. Yo. <laughs> it was right there. It was right in front of my face. Barrier, but was destroyed God dang it. Let's keep gathering their weapons. There may be more barriers ahead. Huh. Yeah, that's uh, I should have I should have thought of that. He's backing up slowly. He's not attacking. He made a grunt. He's not attacking. He's backing up slowly. He must be trying to lead us to a trap. My dude, you think we're dumb? I can't pull him. You must think we're dumb. Alright, how, how about this? What do you think of that, dinosaurs? Goodbye. Get vaporized. Yeah, your trap didn't work out now, did it? Does he have a weapon on him that we're gonna need? Aha, he does. Earthshaker weapons gathered. Oh, we need five of them, okay. So we need to just keep gathering those as we go. When we get up five of them, we're gonna. Where's the operation? Is it down? How do I? Uh... Oh, there it's right there. Went right past it. These guys, we're gonna just have to keep taking out and collecting our weapons, I suppose. They're all carrying one of those Earth Shaker staffs. All that wandering around, man. And it was as simple as me just grabbing the staff. Yo, Ross in the chat. What up, Ross? He says that a bean had died because Floof Dog ate it. So Boss the Ross was winging it, and a van drove up with Floof Dog. Boss Ross said, What's up, Floof Dog? Floof Dog said, What up, Boss Ross? Boss Ross said, hey, is that a Viking dude driving with the Dovahkiin right now? And a Floof Dog? That's what Boss Ross said. But then Floof Dog was like, yo, Boss Ross, you're going to die. And then uh, Floof Dog attacked, and uh, it, it happened. Boss Ross, he ended up getting, getting frigged up. And that's the story. So what you got going on today, uh, Mr. Ross? 
I, oh, it's fate touched. Why is it fate touched? Am I just good at getting iron now? Or is there a reason? We're getting an earthquakey down here. Why is this guy... Oh, he must have been an archer. I say, why is this guy not coming in close to attack? Is he an archer? I don't know what he is. What is he? Does he just got his hands? Looks like he's just got his hands. Yo, Turbo in the chat. What up, Turbo? Ross says, are you ready for the end of Subnautica Below Zero? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what, what like, happens. Am I am I at the end? Like, am I about to finish it? Because I don't. To be honest, I don't really know. Uh, Camp Stay just came to say hi. I appreciate that, Turbo. Glad to see you popping in. Uh, maybe we will see you in Subnautica. We shall see. But uh, either way, you uh, appreciate you popping in and stuff, buddy. Another operation. Dude, there's so many operations to do. Oh, I see. I have to go around this way. I got to the end and got all the achievements on it as well. So, like, where I'm at, am I, like, am I actually close to the end? I Like I said, I'm not going to get all the uh, achievements and stuff, but... Oh, that was weird. I got a big jump there. See, there's a lot of stuff extra stuff to do, like all these operations, but I don't think I'm going to do all of them. Like, without giving it away, what else do I have to do We're in my Subnautica? Stop. I, there's no reasoning with these guys. They're like, basically animals. They just draw. They don't even talk or anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, honestly, where I'm at now in Subnautica, I don't really know where to go next. He said go to the portal when I'm ready. Is that something I can do, like, today? Can I just go to the portal? We better get a couple. I, I think I needed, like, two more of these uh, weapons. There's only one guy here, so am I going to be able to get past this next barrier? Yeah, I need one more. So where do I get the last one? I see an enemy. I see some enemies. Oh, over there. I see. We got to take out some more enemies. We got to pick up another uh, of those staffs. Staves. Isn't that the, the plural? Staves? We, actually, we just need one more, but we're going to have to take out all these fools. All these buffoons. Maybe not, actually. And, like, we're trying to get down deep. Why would we not just go this way? This seems like this is the deepest path we've found so far. Oh, yeah, you're asking for spin maneuvers. I'm going to launch one of these dinosaurs into space again. You ready to get launched into space, my dude? You're gonna go land on a freaking rock up in the up in the sky. I didn't get to launch that dinosaur. Well no, my my only good maneuver is just spinning. That's all I've got. My game just got an update as it, it sang in. The game just got an update and it has Aang in it? Aang? Like the uh, avatar? Are you telling me that Aang is in the Subnautica?
Get over here. I'm not picking up any of them fade freaking not fade uh staves. Staves. Why didn't they didn't drop no staves? Did you have a stave? Aha, okay. So we can go get past that barrier. But like, if we're trying to get down low, it would seem like this is a way of going down very low, right? The Avatar? What game what game are you talking about with the Avatar in it? I uh I love the uh Avatar. I'd like to know what game has Aang in it. Yeah, this is the way the quest marker leads, so I guess we'll do this. Oh, it's only one that we needed. Whoa. I hate that probably would have killed me. They're artifacts. We could learn from them. We have no choice. It's the only way through the barriers. Oh, dude, it doesn't look like there's any way to come back up after we slide down this. Whoa. A week is a surprised, surprised cat face. What has a wakey surprise? The avatar? Nothing like these dwarves is mentioned anywhere in the memories. If I had been prepared, Ren might still be alive. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so we could have gone that way. Uh, don't blame yourself. It's easy to blame ourselves when we lose a friend, Volta. Not your fault. We don't even need supplies. I was so focused on the Titan. I didn't consider what else could be down here. Is that a dark spawn? That's too tall to be a dwarf, right? Oh no, I guess he just looked tall. He's not really that tall. Why did he look massive from over there? Does Illyrium like wrap these guys' brains? Why do they not talk? Why do they just brawl? So confused. So confused as to what is happening right now. Save one of these stabs for the uh, Volta. Uh, Wakey says it's Termi's birthday today. Oh, okay. Very nice. What does he got going on for his birthday? Anything? Get over here. Now give me your staff. You don't have any staff. I don't think I'm gonna have enough now. Probably drawing, um I reckon. I'm doing a bit of drawing, I reckon. Is he uh is he live? We've Oh okay, so we did need we need five. I only have four. What just happened? What the butts, dude? The game just crashed. Where was my last save? Oh, I hope I had a good save. Dude. I ain't never seen no shaz like that. Not now in like five minutes, I think. Okay. Right on. Dude, that was weird. Game crash, yeah. How did that? I mean, that. I ain't seen nothing like that. Oh, you're heading out as a death? I have four deaths. That ain't real, is it? That must just be from, from testers. Four deaths and what? <laughs> I guess I'd have to be playing like a single game. Or are you just keeping... This is just keeping track of deaths in general. <laughs> oh, man. What a shame. Okay, where are we at? Oh, we're we're back a little ways, I think. Unless maybe not. Is that okay, that's the spot where it crashed. 
Let's get a save. Let's get a couple saves, maybe. Some kind of operation over here, but I can't... I don't know how to get at it. Is it up? Uh, did you see my new model? Uh, what new... What new model is that? Oh, for, like, your streams? Like, um... Your taco? Is it a taco still? couple expeditions i don't think i saw it not a taco yeah i haven't seen it then did you have it last uh the one stream you did when i popped in the last stream you did that i was able to go to maybe i just didn't notice i don't know man i just don't know Haven't had it on yet? Oh, okay. Well, how would I see it then? <laughs> how am I supposed to... S okay, we we didn't crash this time. We do have a fight, though. Yeah, how am I supposed to see your model if uh, you haven't streamed? Sent it on Discord mod channel yesterday, I think. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I must have just not realized that that was your, uh, like your, um... See, I think Cap got me confused, because he said something about Minecraft. Like, oh, you should put that in Minecraft. So I didn't really know what it was. But that's your new, your new, uh, stream model, huh? Also, where's Jake and how is Jake doing? Hey, he's still locked up. You know, he's he's gonna be coming out soon. But uh, for now, he's just I'm keeping him trapped, keeping him locked away from sunlight. You know, just me being a clone out here doing the streams for him. I think what he wants is he wants to chill and be, you know, locked up while the clone stream, so that way he can just kind of not do anything and. Uh, you know, the clone gets to do all the work. I think mean, it's like what the plan... What the plan is. Cake has imprisoned Jake for so long. Yeah, he's going to be staying locked up for quite a while. We can't let him out. He's, uh... He's like these... You see these dwarves that are, like, crazy? They have the lyrium-infused armor and these crazy weapons, and they just brawl? That's what he's like right now. He's turned into, uh... He's be, kind of become feral, I guess you could say. So we got to keep him locked up until we can re, re civilize him. Get him to not be feral again, you know. Get him to be not be feral anymore. Did you send uh, Ross his piece of beard? No. I don't think Ross wanted a piece of beard. He seemed kind of against the idea. I would have done it though. Wakey be lurking. All right, he sounds good, buddy. Appreciate that. I'll be playing. I'll be here a while. I don't think we needed to worry too much about picking up all those staves because I'm pretty sure these guys are probably gonna drop staves. So if we needed some. We probably were going to get some here. Maybe Valta can have her extra one to take up to study or whatever she wants to do with it. Did we just win? Maybe they're not going to drop staves. Maybe they, just, maybe they just have gold on them. We're just getting rich. They just keep coming. This isn't going to be another wave fight, is it? I don't wonder why it crashed the first time. What went, what went wrong on the first round? Yeah, 
more uh, we keep we taking them out and then it seems like more of them just keep appearing I'm gonna hit him with some of this how do you like getting sucked into the fade you idiots seems like they don't enjoy it yeah they just keep coming maybe that's why it crashed maybe this is a broken zone where enemies just keep spawning and you can never get through them just like the uh what i thought the dark spawn thing was that's what it seemed like it seemed very broken Yep, they just keep coming. Why do they just keep coming? Do I just need to go... Do I just need to go open the place? I wonder if I should just go open the, uh... The door. This guy dropped armor. Would I want to wear his armor? He's got lyrium-infused armor, right? Should we just, like, break through? Because, like... I don't know if this is ever going to end. See, I drag him back with the spin. You'll love to see it. I create like a, a field of gravity by doing my spin maneuver that draws uh, the enemies in. Something invisible just flew past me. The heck was that? Ghosts of Dragon Age? More? What is these invisible things flying past me? Why is there more? Yeah, it's not supposed to work like that, but somehow it is working like that, where it pulls them, <laughs> it pulls them into me. It's so funny. And I think that's why the space program works. Get over here. Why are you running away? Don't be hiding in the corner. Alright, we're back to never-ending waves of enemies. Why is it like this? God dang it. Should I just go put... I should just go put the staff on the thing, shouldn't I? This isn't, this isn't gonna end, is it? We got another one. Break off. You dumb idiots. Stop attacking me. Right, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it because it seems like we're at never ending waves of enemies again. Destroying the final barrier. Maybe these guys uh, built this barrier for a reason. Did we ever think of that? Did anybody ever stop to think of if we should be doing what we're doing? Oh, that was a big explosion. Let's finish these guys off, I guess. Maybe this will finally be the last of them. Hopefully. I think they're just going to keep coming. I think we should probably just run away. Why is, uh... Why is sometimes there's green? Like, the numbers are red, and it means that they're losing health. Why is there sometimes green? Does that mean they're gaining health? Maybe that'll finally be the last one. Oh, we got another one. We're getting more of these staves. Staves. So, Valta, like, she wanted to go study one or something. We, we can give them to her. We can give her at least one. 
What kind of loot you got for me? Whoa. I don't think that's any better than what I've got. I don't get really care about the rings at this point in the game, but I don't think that armor is better than what I've got. Stone stalker coat. It is, actually. My hairy dwarf bosoms. <laughs> bosoms. Is not a... Not as good as this, but I can't wear this. What do I need? What what do I need here? Oh, it's a rogue. Oh. Varric? No, he can't wear it either. I think he's already got the best stuff. She's already got the best she can wear. He's got the best he can wear, so we're kind of we're kind of chilling. That's kind of crazy for a rogue to have armor with that much um, protection on it. It's kind of bonkers. Let's get a save here. Oh boy, another camp. What do you think, Blackwall? The attacks are getting worse. We must be getting close to whatever they're protecting. Does that say the pure? Only the pure may pass. All others will be punished. What does this Assuming mean? Assuming the Shabratal are the pure... We're the others who aren't allowed to pass. Could the earthquakes be the punishment? More reason to stop them. If the tremors are deliberate, it could be disastrous for Orzumar's lyrium mines. The Shabratal were dwarves once. Something turned them against us. This reads like a final warning. We must be nearing the source. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. What does any of it mean? Uh, we can... Can we re-up our potions down here, or can we just rest? I don't think we can re-up our potions at this camp. But we can fast travel here, so let's fast travel to a camp where we can up our potions, right? Like any one of these. I think this one will do. Legion of the Dead camp. That's good. And we can equip potions. Okay, so we're good. We're, we're charged back up. So now we can go back to the quest map. Back to here. That's the one we were just at, right? Small campsite. Is there any dragons uh, born of the deep, Teehee? Oh, I, I just don't know. But uh, welcome, Big Les the Sasquatch. Welcome to the stream. Yo, is there going to be... Are you, like, giving me a little hint? Is that, like, a warning? They're dragons of the deep? I've never played this DLC. I've played this game several times. I've never played through this, so... Yeah, I don't honestly know. What up, uh, Timothy? Welcome to the stream. Holy schmoly, dude. Did this is bonkers. All this? Or was it here no spoilers? Oh, man. You got me, uh... You got me wondering now. I can claim this. I'll leave that to you only if you ask. Uh, yeah, no, I I don't want no spoilers because, like I said, I haven't played this yet. But now you've got me. Now you've got me wondering. And look at this place, dude. This is bonkers. How is this just existing underground, below everybody's feet? There's just this like lush cave like a whole ecosystem down here or something dude and they're floating is that the void beneath is this like minecraft is that the void beneath them so uh big les the sasquatch what are your thoughts on uh dragon age red wolf what do you think what do you think it's gonna be like the heck is that so many different endings. I love it. So many possibilities. Right, dude. So crazy. That's what, like, I'm wondering how Dreadwolf is going to do. Like, how are they, they going to have to canonize an ending? Or, like, what, what are they going to do? But this. Wait. The rhythm we followed. We've found the source. But not the Titan. Hmm. You're wrong. A Titan is here, I think. Might be long dead. See, that's why I'm wondering if, because we're going to Tevinter in the next game, I'm wondering if they're like, well, let's just leave everything, you know, that happened over there behind. We're in a new area, new story. 
I mean, it's continuing the old story, but like we don't have to canonize anything. We'll just kind of leave that over there. Solus oriented, so I'm guessing mage subclass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, forget about the Titan. It might be long. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's, it's dead. Its existence was never certain. Those memories were ancient. The Titan could have died centuries ago. Something is creating the rhythm I hear. This must all be connected. What is she thinking? We've She's got... found the Titan. We're standing inside it. We're in a Titan right now? What do you mean, inside? Think back to when we left the ruined Tig. I could feel that this wasn't the Deep Roads. The Shabratal attacked because we invaded a place only the pure are allowed to enter. The body of the Titan. That's its heart? Oh, we're gonna have a fight. Hopefully they recapture the old Dragon Age origins with that truth. witch chick that turns into a dragon. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, um, I can't, because I haven't played uh, Trespasser yet. Well, no, at the end they show Solus kind of like, um, they show Solus kind of like absorb her soul or something. So like, she's definitely, I don't know if she's dead or like, but I think her spirit's still around. So she, I'm sure she's gonna be part of it. And I heard from, uh, I think it was like a leak, so who knows if it's true or not, but they were saying they saw like the cla how classes work in the next game. And it's not like this where you pick warrior, rogue, or mage. It seemed like it was just like skill classes, like as you leveled up you'd pick different skills. Like there was trees, kind of skill trees maybe. I don't know. I don't know how true any of that is, but um, we'll see. I'm excited to see how it how it turns out either you know however however it goes I've been following this this series since like Origins first came out I remember watching commercials uh, like before Origins released and I was like so pumped I'm like dude I gotta get that game and I played it countless times <laughs> Struggling to finish my old playthroughs, got 600 hours, I'm still a noob getting back into it and uh, want to be a, a need again. Don't want that. That's a rare sword, I guess we'll take it. A nerd again. Okay, I was going to say, what's a need? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah. It's, it's definitely worth getting back into, though. Like, no matter, you know, you can... Even if you start a new game, you can play it so many different ways. Could there be a whole civilization in here? A city with the innocent tigers. Incredible. And the quakes haven't damaged it. Something I've never done, which I, I ought to do, I don't know if may, maybe you've done this, is play like an evil playthrough. It's kind of hard, like, Inquisition and... I guess you could do it in Inquisition and Dragon Age 2, right? You could just be a jerk about everything. But, like, just playing an evil playthrough where you just do... Try playing for trophies, but I'm failing on hard. Oh, you're playing... Yeah, dude. For this quest... Like, I played the entire game on normal, and I really didn't have any struggles. But, uh... When I got down to the deep roads here, I freaking died a lot. I couldn't get past the, uh... Dark spawn waves. I had to drop it down to normal. Or, uh, casual, because, like, I literally could not get past it. I'm trying to try and, like, I wouldn't say that I'm rushing, but I kind of was a little bit rushing to get through this game, because, uh, Dreadwolf, I want to be, like, ready to play Dreadwolf when it comes out. Plus, I got, like, a bunch of other games people are requesting that I play and stuff, so I'm, like, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to finish up some of the games I'm playing. I've been playing for a while, at least. Which is your uh, your favorite of the Dragon Age series? These guys, dude, they're so rich. Why 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 the frig did they have so much money on them? It just doesn't make any sense. Deep roads, not nah, all goods, bro. I like the origins. Yeah, origins is. I would say it's my favorite. 
this is my my second favorite after uh oh we already had one of those but uh he could have one right it's better than what he's got yeah let's give him that other one origin's definitely my favorite this is my second two was good story wise but like gameplay wise i didn't feel like it was all there It just, the Dragon Age 2 was just too rushed. Like, I don't know what, what it was. They said they had, like, there's some deadline or something. They had to push it out or something weird happened with that one. And, like, you go into dungeons and they had reused models of, like, the dungeons. And, like, I don't know. Uh, Blood Mages and Templar Nostalgia for me can't remember. Is that supposed to be can't remember playing DA2? Okay, yeah. Uh, Ross says, when are you playing Subnautica Blue Zero? Uh, as soon as I finish this up. I'm, I think I'm at the almost at the end of this quest, so I'm gonna... Ooh, achievement. Veteran. Uh, yeah, I think I'm about to be at the end of this quest, so I'm kind of going to try and finish this quest up and then move on to Subnautica. And then we'll probably have one more episode of Inquisition where I'm going to do the Trespasser DLC. And then we uh, got some other games to finish up, and eventually I'm going to move on to Red Dead 2. I know Cap has been waiting for that for a long time. Um, what do I want here? Every critical hit reduces the cooldown times and your abilities, giving you the edge to finish. I'm going to get that. Frigget, why not? That sounds pretty dope. Uh, yes. Sick. Yeah, they I didn't like, like the, fanatics. uh... Aren't they afraid to die? Perhaps they're the Titans Legion of the Dead. Oh yeah, true. Don't they could say be that. the Legion of the Titans Dead. Um Yeah, I kinda didn't like the leveling system in this one. Or Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't take any damage. Or uh Dragon Age 2 really. I didn't I didn't care. I liked Origins, I think had the best uh level up system. And so I do hope they go back to that for the next one. Or at least something similar to that. Why is my nose so itchy? Yeah, we're getting close to to that whatever the frig that is. I'm assuming that's gonna be its heart. I don't want to hurt you. Like the, the Grey Wardens, they were so dope. The scenes when you turned into abominations was sick. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, seeing Duncan like in those first cutscenes where like, you know, he's talking about the the blight and everything. Like it was just so cool, man. Damn, why is my nose so itchy? I hope they go back in the next one to like the origin thing where you actually play through an origin. That was like the coolest part of Origins was like Whatever, you you know, you could pick a dwarf and you'd go be starting in the Deep Roads. Or not the Deep Roads, like the uh, Anorzammar. And then, uh, of course, you like, I think you'd go into the Deep Roads. But, like, um, yeah, or you could be an elf, a Dalish elf. Like, you know, start in the woods. And it was just so cool how they each had their own story and, like, their own background that you actually played through. I want them to go back to that. Will you keep playing sub below zero? What do you mean? It, I mean, if I beat sub below zero, then I won't be playing it anymore, but... Um, I'll play it until I beat it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what got me. It gave you, like, a slave elf or a high elf. Right, yeah. You could be, um... 
You could be a city elf, which are, you know, like you said, the kind of the slave elves, or you could be the free elf that lives out in the woods. You could be, I think you could only pick human noble, but you could be like a lowborn dwarf, I think, or you could be a highborn dwarf, which is kind of crazy. Commoner dwarf or dwarf from famous family, right? Yeah, yeah. So the next one being set in Tevinter, like I wonder if maybe they will have like a Tevinter background where uh, after you complete it, will you keep playing and make your base better? Uh, probably not because like I said, I have, I still never beat uh, Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. I don't know if there actually is beating it. I know there is like some bosses and stuff. Um, Oblivion, I'm still trying to play through Oblivion if that works. Starfield, so like no, I probably won't. If I beat it, that's going to be like the end of it the finale but we have subnautica um you know the next one coming out to look forward to so i mean that's gonna be pretty dope i'll play that as soon as it comes out and stuff you know look how can she read the these ancient things i guess area. she is a shaper it so she probably has some kind of knowledge on ancient writings what is that word line road that phrase is the path of purity and there's a reference to titan's blood it says the shabratal come here to drink it uh big les of squatch says when does the dread wolf drop um i think this summer they're announced i think it's in june maybe i know this summer i think they're announcing a date at first i thought they said the game was coming this year and it might still i know they're gonna in June, I'm pretty sure, is when they're going to say when the date that it drops is. So, like, maybe it'll be the end of this year. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping. So they come here to drink blood. Uh, blood flows through veins? Yeah, blood throws... I only see one substance here that's found in veins. So the lyrium is titan blood? Is that what you're telling me? Lyrium. Is that its heart? The titan's blood is lyrium. Yo. This could cripple Orzammar? Are you sure? That's quite a leap of logic, Volta. Everything that's happened is related to I was saying to they did, I mean, they call the them veins. They mines, look like veins. The singing stone. It They're all branching like veins. Here. Yo, this is insane. We have to stop this! Approach the Shah Bratal Shrine. Okay, I'm saving first, though, for sure. My game already crashed once. Very, very surprising that it actually crashed. Do we have to, like... Is there a fight? Do we have to, like, do a fight here? I'm gonna get another save. We're getting closer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save again. We're approaching this thing's, like, heart or whatever this is. just happened why did she just get exploded is she dead she looks pretty bloody did she just die big lesson sasquatch says love yeah oh yeah something's happening it's making like a rock creature a stone behemoth Dude, it's about to get bonkers. So, did it just absorb the heart, or did it come out of the heart? Because it looks like it's got one of the a heart, a smaller heart inside of it. Or is that? Maybe we have to fight these things. Oh, what if I do? What if I do one of these numbers on it? Is that gonna... Dude, somebody's already dead. Varric's already dead. We have to fight its tentacles. A golem? Yeah, maybe a golem. Or no, we have to fight these crystals. Maybe? 
It's called the Guardian. I don't know what that necessarily means, but... Varric's already freaking dead. What an idiot. Should I go bring Varric back? I guess I'm gonna... Oh, I have low health. I guess I'm gonna go get Varric, if I can. This fight seems like it's gonna be kind of tough. I brought Varric back and he died instantly. Unless I didn't even bring him back at all. Did I even get him up? Get up, Varric. God dang it, I died. Holy crap, dude. It's like instant death. What the heck just happened? The whole party's dead. Can we... Can I kill this thing? Okay, come on, Varric. Get up. Come on, Dingledorf. Get up. Get your freaking butt up, dude. Holy crap. What the fudge, dude? This is the craziest fight. This is the fight of our lives, dude. I never seen nothing like this. It frigs you up in like one go. Oh, we're going through all our potions. Blackwall's going straight for the crystal. Maybe I should go for the arms. Disable the arms. The arms frig you up so bad. We're about to be out of potions. Oh no, dude. It's just me. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't let me die. Oh, Frig, dude. Frig. Come on, Varric. We've had worse odds than this. Oh, what the fudge. Leave me alone for like two seconds. Just let me get my dude up. Okay, my dude's up. Let me get my other dude up. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, we got Blackwall up. He can get me back up. We just got gonna have to like keep getting our pals back up. They go down, we're gonna get them back up. We're halfway done. I wonder what happens if I get the spin maneuver. It's like a hand. Oh, there's, there's us dead. Wow. Wow, what the fudge? Okay, I need to I need to like rethink my life. I'll be right back in a, in a minute. I'll be back. I'm back. All right, uh I guess we'll have another attempt at that. I don't know how well this is going to go cuz that did not go well at all. We have our full potions. Kind of wish I had my regens on me. Do we have to watch the cutscene again? Can we skip? Can we do a little bit of a skippy skip? Can we skip this? Skip it, skip it, skip it. Okay, we can skip it. I don't know. Do we go for the arms? Do we go for the freaking... Do we go for the crystals? I know for a fact I need to keep my shield up. Maybe we can throw this out. Get the arms down. That'll do some damage. And big da we had it halfway done. Let's see what happens if we do the spin maneuver. I didn't try that before, did I? That's my ultimate move. I may not be able to see what's going on, but it does good stuff. I can't see anything. I can't see what's happening, but I think we're doing better. Like we're we're taking it <laughs> we're doing damage on it. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so now don't let it touch you. So how are we supposed to fight it? Keep moving. What? Dude, I can't even get up and away before it frigs me up. Don't let it touch you. 
this is the avoidance stage. What are we supposed to do here? Can we fight it now? I'm going for this crystal. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. I'm trying everything. I'm spinning. My, my best move. Doesn't matter if I can't see. As long as we win. Okay, now we're avoiding again. Avoid the blue stuff. Is that what it's about? Fudge! I was in the middle of doing my move and that frigged me up. God dang it. My company does not move to avoid the stuff. This is going back once again to my party being like complete idiots and not doing what they're supposed to at all. Okay, can we save our companions, maybe? Let's try. Let's give it a try. Come on, Cassandra. Don't let me down. Spin. Time for the spins. I'm taking this freaking crystal out. I'm freaking it up, dude. I'm cheesing it, but it's alright. As long as it freaking works. Okay, we gotta move. God dang it. It touched me. Last potion. Where is Varric? Varric is. I'm trying, dude. Okay, let me get Cassandra. Cassandra's up. I think we can say Frig Varric. Oh, he's underneath of it. Spin. Whatever this crystal is, I just need to attack it. I guess while we have a chance, we could try and get Varric back up. There's nothing attacking us on this side. We're free to just, like, go at this crystal right now. Okay, he's doing this maneuver again. Run. Run, 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 run. God dang it, let me run. I don't get a chance to get up. Fudge. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die. God dang it, dude. My party doesn't run. Okay, we have one more attempt. My party doesn't run like they're supposed to. And then, uh, on top of that, I, like, get knocked down and I don't even get a chance to get up before I'm getting frigged up by those spikes. But we did better. No, we didn't do better that time. We had it down to halfway last time. No, we had it down farther this time. Okay, skip. Let's go in strong with this right on that crystal. And then let's go in on it also. Frig the arms, just going strong on this thing. I did spin maneuver, kind of worked. We knocked the crystal off. Okay, so we have to destroy each one of these. Oh, is he going to start doing his freaked up thing? I'm just waiting on him to do his freaked up thing. I got to be like quick on the maneuver here. He seems a little frozen. Not going to lie. Oh, here we go. Okay. Run. Run, run, run. Don't be caught in the blue. Don't get caught in the blue. Keep, Keep jumping. Pretty sure my party's not doing what they're supposed to, but as long as I am, right? Okay. Spin, spin, spin. I think we're doing it this time, dude.
can't see anything. I need to run? I think I need to run. He's freaking fisting me, dude. He's not fisting me. Oh, I think we're, like, actually kind of close. All right, avoid, avoid, avoid. You don't move fast enough for this. Your character does not move fast enough to avoid this. Yeah, you don't have very much avoidance maneuvers. Two crystals left, and we're we're very close to winning here. Should I bring Varric back for the for the triumph, or is it is it worth it? I'll try it. Come on, Varric, you need to witness our triumph over this monstrous thing. What are the consequences of what we're doing right now? That was like the Titan heart, right? And that's where Lyrium comes from? The blood of the Titan? Is she dead? No, she's breathing. Volta, are you hurt? <laughs> Too loud. The song. Stop. Oh no. She got Lyriumed. Are we gonna have to fight her now? I am. Um, it's all right. Dwarves can't perform magic. I'm concerned about you. Uh, I'm concerned about you. We should get help. You may be injured, or. I feel better than I ever have. Stronger, more alive. Dude, is she Stone a dwarf that can do magic now? The rhythm has faded, and so have the tremors. But the song still echoes. It tells hmm. me things. The breach. That's what disturbed the Titan. It is calm now that it has a connection with one of its children. With me. Hmm. Safe to mine Lyrium? Is it safe for Orzammar's Lyrium mines to start operating again? Mining didn't disturb the Titan. The breach did. The mine's destruction was incidental. Hmm. Isana. It's our word for Lyrium. And we are taught that it is a gift from the stone. But there's so much more to it than we ever imagined. I wonder imagined. if we're going to learn more about this in the next I one. I was sent to the deep roads to recover lost history. This is only the beginning. I am staying here. The Inquisition needs you. In all of Thetis, you're the first dwarf ever to command the power of magic. Your help would be invaluable. I have no place on the surface. That world is yours to save, not mine. The mines huh. collapse, Ren's death. It all happened to bring me here. After all we have seen, you wish to be alone to commune with this creature? Nothing good ever happens in the deep roads. This yeah, won't this be any bad. different. Well, who could she harm down here besides herself? I am called this just doesn't to the sound good. Inquisitor. This is where I belong. I'm leaving with more questions than answers. But that doesn't mean you have to. Just be careful. Alright, well, there's that. She's gonna stay down here and talk to Lyrium, ghosts. Lyrium the titans. The Shaper in Orzammar will want to know what happened to you. Tell them the truth. You don't know. Let's go. Right on. So next... Uh, next Tuesday morning, we will play Trespasser DLC, and we will be done with Dragon Age at that point, and ready for Dragon Age Dreadwolf to come out. Now I gotta go tell everybody what the frig happened down there. I don't even know what the frig happened down there. Come back all bloody.
and missing two of your party members. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's not suspicious at all. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. Uh, and also, if you want to help support the channel here on YouTube, it's only 99 cents to become a member, but that gets you a bunch of cool perks. You'll get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that we are going to be starting on Season 3 here very soon. Uh, June, once the update comes out. So yeah, keep up to date on all that stuff. Merch, uh, like I said earlier, available. Links in description and on the channel page. Shirts, hats, uh, glass, all kind of cool stuff if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, also over on Twitch, if you would drop me a follow, that helps out a bunch. Keeps you up to date on all the uh, future streams and stuff like that if you like watching over there. But uh, anyways, guys, that does it for this one. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.